Hello friends and welcome to AdapediaWorld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, as we are discussing about the special element hydrogen, in the discussion we have segmented the whole discussion into many subsections where we have already covered with basics of hydrogen. So today we shall discuss and learn about the position of hydrogen in the periodic table. So friends, let's start the session with position of hydrogen in the periodic table. Friends, as the position of hydrogen in the table has always been a matter of controversy and debate. To solve the controversy and to discuss the controversy, let's understand first the position of hydrogen in the Mendeleev periodic table. First, the basic limitation of Mendeleev periodic table that Mendeleev not explain the position of hydrogen in the periodic table. We all know now that Mendeleev periodic table law states that the properties of element are periodic functions of their atomic masses. That is, all the elements were arranged according to their atomic masses, not the atomic numbers. Well, friends, atomic mass is number of proton plus the number of neutron present in the nuclei of the atom. So, now if we talk about the hydrogen, that is the position of hydrogen, which was not justified in the Mendeleev periodic table, as he positioned the hydrogen in the first column above the alkali metals. He did so because the hydrogen and alkali metals have similar properties. For example, hydrogen... reacts with halogens, oxygen and sulfur to form compounds whose formula are just similar to those of alkali metals that is the chemical formula are similar to alkali metals. For example, let's take, compare the compounds of hydrogen and compounds of sodium, which is the member of the first group. So, when hydrogen reacts with a halogen, let's take chlorine, the chemical formula will be HCl and if sodium reacts with chlorine, we have the same chemical formula NaCl. Secondly, if it reacts with oxygen, it gives H2O similarly. When sodium reacts with oxygen, it gives us Na2O. Again, when hydrogen reacts with sulfur, it gives the chemical formula of H2S. Similarly, the sodium will be having Na2S. So these are some kind of similarities. When hydrogen or any alkali metals react with halogen, oxygen and sulfur, which will give the same chemical formula. Now, hydrogen also resembles with the halogen in many ways. For example, halogens are in gaseous form and exist in a diatomic molecule. Similarly, hydrogen also reacts or form a diatomic molecule. So first we write that hydrogen is also found in the gaseous state and it forms with the diatomic molecule. Right? As we have already understood in our previous session, as now it forms covalent compounds like halogens and hence it can also be placed above the halogen group. And this was actually the limitation of Mendeleev which he was not able to explain the position of hydrogen. So now if we talk about the modern periodic table, yes. It is the first element in the periodic table and placed at the top of the group 1 with the following reasons. Let's discuss now 
the reason why the hydrogen is placed in group 1 well first point we shall understand like hydrogen atom has one electron in its valence shell one electron in its valence shell yet it is the similar property as of alkali metals so now if we talk about the properties one by one the valency yes the hydrogen generally shows plus one valency and if we talk about the character it readily loses its hydrogen to form a positive ion just like alkaline metals so we can write like this when we talk about the metallic character hydrogen easily loses its electron to found, form a positive ion Now if we compare to the, any of the alkali metal, let's suppose we compare the hydrogen with the alkali metal that is sodium which also easily loses its electron to form a positive ion. One more property why hydrogen is placed in group 1 as the hydrogen is very good reducing agent like other alkali metals and Talk about the combination with the non-metals. Hydrogen like alkali metals combines easily with non-metals like halogen, oxygen, sulfur as we have already discussed. So now we talk about the sing agent. Yes, hydrogen is a good reducing agent. My friends, hydrogen element has been placed at the top of group 1 above the alkaline metals because the electronic configuration of hydrogen is very very similar to those of alkaline metals. As both hydrogen as well as alkaline metals have one valence electron each. So hydrogen atom is very very small in size and many properties of hydrogen are actually very different from those of alkaline metals. So actually we cannot say that hydrogen is in the group 1 while discussing the alkaline metal of group 1 hydrogen is never included and in some of the periodic table hydrogen is not placed in any group as the hydrogen is always treated as a very special element and placed alone at the head of the periodic table like this so friends now we conclude this whole small presentation as hydrogen is the first element and it belongs to the first group and first period as if the presentation of the modern periodic table. Hydrogen also show a dual nature as it has similarities between the properties of alkali metals and also the halogen with the same characteristics hydrogen is also the smallest element in the whole of the elements also the hydrogen have three oxidation states one two and three that is plus one plus two and plus three it is basically said to be a non-metal as it is formed found in the gaseous state also in the diatomic molecule and it can say we can say that it has the similarities to the alkali metals and also the halogens. So friends, this is how we end up with the whole presentation and discussion about the position of hydrogen. I hope you have got a very good idea about the position of hydrogen in both the periodic tables. The limitations of the Mendeleev which was actually 
Mendeleev was not able to explain the position of hydrogen as compared to the modern periodic table. So now friends, let's go to the main menu. Well, now we have discussed about the basics of hydrogen and the position of hydrogen in the modern periodic table as well as we compared the Mendeleev and modern periodic table with respect to the position of hydrogen. Now in the next session we shall learn the similarities between the hydrogen and alkali metals. We will also discuss about the similarities and dissimilarities between alkali metals and uh, halogens in our next session. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.